Did you have a, a smooth ride over? Wasn't great, Josh. <laughs> So as you can see, myself and Craig are embarking on a little trip as we're at the airport on the way to the UK. So we are going over to get some Lamborghini parts, but as you can see, we are flying. So that means we're picking up a vehicle, but what <laughs> vehicle is that? I'm excited, Josh. Craig's very excited. Right. We're late, so we're going to go on a quick flight. Let's see you on the other side. All right, guys, before we get into today's video, I got something very special to announce. We are an official Link ECU reseller. We have their entire range on our website, driftgames.life. And until the end of February, because we're a brand new reseller, we're allowing you guys 10% off the entire range. So pick out what you want, hit us up for a special and individual quotation, and we're gonna save you some money on some awesome Link ECU parts. All right guys, so we're getting right into it today. So a little bit of background to why we decided to do this stupid idea, and it is completely Craig's That's fault. Brilliant. That's brilliant. So, we were coming to the UK to get some Lamborghini parts. Obviously, we needed a van, so we're going to drive over in the van. Craig then sent me a picture of this van. Sorry, can we put in the picture I sent you of the first van? And that, I, I, I will. This is the van, and <laughs> definitely not getting that van. So, it's one of those things where it's too good to be true. Like, it was in Bristol. It was half an hour from where we need to be. We're collecting the Lamborghini parts from here, and the Lamborghini parts fit in this van. Dash, I see it. Oh, my God. I just... I've just seen it, so apparently we paid for it up front. So he's um, left it in the yard with the key under the wheel because we got here super early, we had a super early flight. And um, this is ridiculous, as ridiculous as it looks like in the pictures. <laughs> Welcome to my new van. Look at her, Josh. <laughs> I've never known a van you can hug. <laughs> Look how cute it is. <laughs> Your suitcase. That, that's a carry-on suitcase. That's not a check-in suitcase. Oh, here's <laughs> the wheel. Here's the key. As advertised. Oh, this all starts. Look at her. I'll <laughs> book on the dashboard. Oh, nice. Sounds like a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> so this was... Um, Taking a little bit of inspiration from Japan. These are the, the Kai vans and Kai cars and Kai trucks. That's what everyone drives over there. And as you know, I love small cars. So obviously if I'm getting a van, it has to be a small van, but. <laughs> I didn't even say the name of it. The name's one of the best bits. The Piaggio Porter. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Do you know, like, you know what I can picture is me and you driving the whole way across the UK now in the front of that thing. It's gonna be a sight to see like. <laughs> yeah, we have roughly about a thousand miles to cover in this unseen, bought online, <laughs> tiny little guy van. Couldn't be happier about it. <laughs> The adventure begins now. Woohoo! Listen to that. Whoa, there's really not much room in here. So uh, my insurance hasn't uh, crossed over yet, so Craig is driving it for the first stint. Woo! Look at that in the top, the speakers. What a sound system. <laughs> oh, I regret this already, I swear to God. Here we go. <laughs> regret nothing. Okay, so we've already had our first issue. It's not mechanical, but it's, <laughs> there's a spider. Oh, not too sure about what we're gonna, uh, oh, just let him be, I guess. I think he's dead, actually. I think he's just dangling. It's sorted itself out. <laughs> oh. Breakfast, lunch, <laughs> dinner. <laughs> so it feels like we are absolutely tipping. We are 
full tilt and that. It's actually not too bad at that speed, to be honest. I was expecting worse. So we just pulled up in a car park and we're doing what most Lamborghini owners do, um, trade parts in a service station car park. Josh, that stinker. Just let one off just before we started filming then, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fills up pretty fast, Craig. Well, the headliner is dropping down still ever so slightly, so we're losing more and more space. It's not the most interesting Lamborghini parts. We're getting all the interior parts. So it's the same interior, but we're just getting black instead of blue, as we said, we we're changing it, but. Not for a bunch. It's, it's legit. Lamborghini. Lamborghini. So this is pretty much just changing the interior from the blue and cream to black, because it kind of ends up being a little bit cheaper if you swap it over and easier and the time's better. Listen to that cold start. She oh. is a rod. She is a go. So what's the handbrake now? Do you want to do a handbrake? <laughs> I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pick up one of two done and we're gonna break this trip up a little bit. So we're gonna stop off at a few places along the way because we're going a long way across the country. So we're gonna go to some garages, see some people with some cool cars. Probably some stuff. Some stuff. <laughs> so next up, we're gonna see someone who we've seen very recently in the channel and a very cool car related to this car. <laughs> First location got to completed with the Piaggio Porta. <laughs> oh, there she is, and there he is. Good to see you, Chris. Yeah, again. This is um, what is the way to say it? This is magnificent. <laughs> When you were over in Ireland, you were telling me about this, yeah. and this, this this is inspiration goals, right? I'm not even sure, like, I wasn't sure what you can do with it, but this is incredible. Kind of a blank canvas, you can kind of just do what you like with it. The good thing is, because it's so small and so funky, you can just do stupid things you can't do any to any other car and just get away with it, because it's just a cage, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, give me a quick rundown. The engine should be there. It should be, yes. And what do I see? Okay, so this is a um, Yamaha 1200cc engine and gearbox, so it's running a sequential box out of the bike. It's got uh, a sequential box in there? From the bike, yeah. This so, is, the so it's got an actual... Yeah, the shifter is forward and backwards, like a normal. So yeah, back to back into first, and then through the gears. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. We were going up some hills earlier, and okay. I mean, we had to drop some gears to get up those hills. I, I can't imagine you have the same issues. Um, no, to be honest, the only trouble going uphill is you may break traction on the rear. So you, it's, it's, that's the problem. Was that an issue? No, we didn't have that issue. Thank, <laughs> thank God, thank God. I was going to have it painted and make it like really like show car, uh, show car, show truck and like really cool. But the way this thing and the, how it drives, you're just going to end up damaging it. And you want to have fun in it because it's just so wild. So I just decided let's just go mental and just do, let's just screw things to it and just make it look wild. If something breaks, it's like 50p to replace. So you can just go mental with it. You see, I was, I, 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 I was just, uh, <laughs> I, I spotted this to the corner of my eye. It's like, yeah. this is, uh, yeah. yeah. So that's what you can do and not worry about it. You've got like a nice little steering wheel on the inside. Yeah. Okay, now moving to the front. So yeah. this is a Daihatsu Hyger. Right. I, I don't know any of the models or anything like that. From my limited knowledge, I don't have loads either, but from my limited knowledge, they're the same truck. So it's just rebranded with different badges and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. So you said this one did look like- So yeah, it had the horrible front end that yours has got now, which is like, protruding, it has like lumps on it, it's really ugly to look I don't at. like it because I think it should be flat at the front, it, but it kind of angles out, which yeah, I don't right. like. So basically I did the, what do you call it, it's not a facelift, is it? It's a retrofit of the older front end. It's a fa face down. Face down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a face down. So I put the older front end onto it, because um, it's much cooler. This is the front end that I, 
I want with canards and splitters. That you looks perfect. That, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it'd be rude to come here and not hear it. Fire up, so uh, fire her up. Let's see if she's talking. <laughs> it sounds funny coming from there. It's like it's got loads of charm. I love it. Give it a little one. It's like a road tree in there. She's not quite warm enough, but she will, yeah. She's pretty wild. Yeah. Now imagine it in gear. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. The one we're driving is pretty tame compared to, <laughs> compared to this. Oh, it happens to one four days. That's incredible. So Chris, thank you very much for spreading a little bit of inspiration on a Kai truck that can be transformed into my Kai van. So you may remember in the last episode you saw Chris on our channel, um, he said about the training course, the training academy that he does. So this is actually the place where, where, you, where you do the academy. Yeah, this is the UK Sonax Detain Academy here. It's obviously based in Bristol. This is where we run all of our courses. Um, it's just a full-time training center, so we don't actually do detailing here anymore. But it's for all levels, like anyone who wants to come in and learn how to detail, then this is the place to do. We've got all the best kit, and we come in, we have fun, uh, but it's also about education. Which is actually quite fun, I will say. I went through all the steps and had a good yeah, time. Yeah, you're pretty much fully qualified now, right? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I pretty much did the expert level, I'm guessing. <laughs> I, well, that's where we had to start with you, to be honest. Anything less would just, yeah, wouldn't have been any good. Qualified, just without the papers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. kind, kind of like school. Uh, they're, they're being printed as we speak. <laughs> all right then, before we go, can I ask one little, tiny, tiny, tinsy favor? Yeah, of course. Can we tie a shine the lovely mini light wheels? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Let's make her look spot on. Spot on, let's do this. Should I put some on the treads? You can do some drifting on the way. <laughs> <laughs> she is brand new. Look, look at this. Wow, let's put extra on just for extra shine. There you go. Put it, some on the tread, do some drifting. I want to see this sideways at some point. Well, you'll be waiting. Don't hold your breath. No worries. <laughs> right, Craig, back in the van. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, see you. Take it easy. See you in a bit. See you later. Right, here we go. Next location is, uh, there's no easy way of saying this, two hours away. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you ready for it? No. So the uh, roof situation is getting a little bit worse. What do you think, Greg? Perfect. It's talking to us now. <laughs> Okay, so after two hours of driving, a small nap for me and uh, wake up Red Bull, we are at our next location, which I have never been there. So Axel, he was in an episode a few episodes ago and also has the Rotary Corvette, has invited us down to his place. And now I'm not too sure what to expect. We're looking forward to checking this place out. We're just arriving here. It's pretty big. He said there's a lot of stuff. So we're gonna go check it out and see what's going on. Okay, so we've just arrived at Anglo-American Fuel Company and Axel, long time no see. It's actually only been probably in real life only a few days. This place looks crazy. Yeah, so this is Anglo-American Oil Company. Uh, this is where we work. This is where we distribute uh, multiple products such as Sunoco Race Fuel uh, for Europe and Sonax, as you now know, in the UK. Uh, and also a sign. I was actually wondering where Daytona was. I went on the way down here, I wasn't too sure, but What's that, 4,223 miles away? Yeah, that's probably one of the furthest way. The closest racetrack would be Goodwood. It's a bit of our local, and then everywhere else is far away. Anyways, can we have a look around? Give you a little tour. So this is, essentially, we're a warehousing distribution manufacturing business. Um, so this is where everything gets stored, really. Including an American car? Yeah, this is a Ford Falcon. My dad had some kind of plans for in it. Just been in the way really if anyone's looking for a ford falcon for sale great price yeah we've got the tires justino tires so we supply those to the drift pro championship 
then we've got all the Tonoka race fuels which come from America. Then we've got Sonax which is what we were talking about whilst we were over in your neck of the woods. So. Big Sonax fans now. This is the newest product range that we've taken on. So we were used to selling big items such as the big drums of fuel and now we've got loads of little small items. So that was quite a challenge to uh, adapt the warehouse. But yeah. Well you're going to say a challenge to fit in. This warehouse is absolutely <laughs> gigantic. Uh, it seemed gigantic when we moved in but as with everything you quickly fill it up. Oh, uh, yeah. Every car guy knows how that happens when you <laughs> get a new garage. It doesn't take long. But yeah, we're a business that, that owned by my mum and dad. My dad's a big racer and he kind of inspired me to get into cars. Uh, and that's why we go to work. When we go to work, with, we work with race cars. We build race cars. Axel's another person that doesn't go the practical route. Yeah, I know. Dave bought a Corvette and then copied that with a rotor engine. So uh, should we get how many months should we give him to do the Gallardo swap? <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to that. This is our fleet of crazy carts. Again, like everything else, goes out of hand. So now we've got Milwaukee adapters, speed controllers, longboard wheels. These now go about twice as quick as normal. Hang on a second, so they, two batteries go on there? Yeah, so you can just slot in your uh, normal drill batteries. Top tip for anyone who owns a crazy cart, 12 pound of Amazon each, and then you uh, go twice as fast. We'll let you have a shot of those in a minute, Josh, and uh, see if you can uh, Absolutely. survive. Absolutely, I've not been in a crazy cart in years. No, but it's a bit like your MX-5 and probably similar power as well. So. It's actually probably about, the, it's probably about the same size as the Piaggio. Yeah, yeah the Piaggio. Now you won't be able to use to this power now you've got acclimatized to that. And uh, yeah, so this is outside of the warehouse, we also manufacture fuels. Uh, and as I said, most of the fuels come in big ISO tanks and then we put them in drums. So we'll put plum, plums in here and then just gets dispensed into the drums. What I'm seeing here is you got your own fuel station. We're never short of E85 or tires, <laughs> put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should uh, fill up your little Piaggio. Looks like you've come far. I wish it's a uh, diesel. <laughs> oh, we got racing diesel. <laughs> racing diesel. You got everything, George. <laughs> Holy shit, that's loud. Triple rotor turbo. So just for a bit of fun, I think you guys is going to have a bit of a play and I want to get a few pictures with the Piaggio at the pump with the Corvette doing a bit of Not quite got the same effect on the sound, has it? You're one of the happiest men, like, that's the happiest I've seen Josh in a long time driving that. I think it's the happiest I've been in a long time. This thing will put a smile on anyone's face. <laughs> Bring a bit of a mess in, it's about to go on. Definitely faster than the standard form. I want to brag, but I uh, was pretty good at these. Uh, <laughs> just say, oh my god! <laughs> Can I ever go on one of them? Yeah. Oh, my god. <laughs> Josh, I thought you said you were good at this. It's a lot faster, okay? <laughs> You're brutal. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I was good! Oh! Why are they so twitchy? <laughs> <laughs> the wheels are spinning! <laughs> <laughs> we 
Uh, Craig, go on, have a go. I don't think so. No, go ahead, Craig, go ahead. You gotta have a go. They're made for kids. <laughs> what could possibly They're go wrong? Fucking fast. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's making a mockery of you. This is like getting bullied in a playground. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> that, was, that was exhilarating. Right, what else can we break? <laughs> <laughs> right, Craig, that was a lot of fun, but I think it's time to get in the Piaggio Porter again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Axel. Thanks for the tour and showing us around and burnouts. And the, I'm not sure about the crazy cars, if I'm going to be honest. Right, we're going to love you and leave you. And oh, we have a long mission ahead of <laughs> in this. Well, at least you've got a luxury, comfortable vehicle to uh, travel in. Yeah, and look at that. The, the impact zone is my knees. Yeah. <laughs> So, it's 9 p.m. We've been up 19 hours. We've traveled 400 kilometers. We've done three different locations, but I think we're gonna call it a night. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. What sort of a sip was that? Until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>